Okay, I think it's pretty easy to guess what my next project is going to be. I've got a friend who lives in Michigan who is coming down on their way to Florida and they're going to stop by here and I'm going to install this Starlink high performance flat dish uh, permanently mounted on the roof of their 2023 unit TRL. So let's do an unboxing and see what comes inside. Okay. So first, I'm guessing this is all the stuff to install it. Oh, this is the the dish that mounts on the roof and it mounts on the roof like this. I'm, I'm going to be using VHB tape um, 5952 VHB tape to stick this on the roof. I'm not going to drill any holes in the roof and then I'll use some Eternabond tape to seal this against the roof um, and then the Starlink uh, flat panel gets installed on top of that. And then they also have a couple of packages of different kinds of hardware and like I said I'm not going to be using the screws they give you. Um, so we're going to use, you know, see what we're going to use when we get on the roof. but. I'm probably not going to use most of this because I'm not screwing it into the roof. So that is the mount for the flat panel. And then this should be the dish itself. package this thing nice. So here's the flat panel. Starlink flat panel that will go on the roof. And like I said, this part goes into that frame that I've already showed you. Okay, then the rest of the stuff that comes with it, of course, is the instruction manual. This is the router. So we'll have to decide before we install it where we want that to go. This is the power supply for the, uh, for the Starlink panel. Um, so we've got to find a place for both of these um, in preferably... Uh, close proximity and we need two outlets to plug this into um, so we will uh, be looking at where we're going to want to install these access to an outlet and then this is what plugs into the actual dish I think this is 20 uh, 26 feet of cabling so uh, and where I'm thinking that we're going to install the flat panel is um, in the location where their current wine guard satellite dome and um, satellite or uh, Wi-Fi booster is on the back of their roof. We're going to be removing those two items because the wine guard stuff is really junk. It doesn't work. Um, and they've already found that out on their new 2023 that you know, none of that works. And so that's why they're going with this uh, nice permanent 
Starlink installation, so they always have good, high-quality Wi-Fi, and then they can do whatever they want, stream, use their computers, work, you know, work from their rig, whatever. Okay, so that's it. So watch, uh, subscribe, so you'll get a notification. Um, but watch for my next video of the installation of this Starlink high-performance flat panel. Um, that's it.